My mother taught me how to lie. It wasn't a conscious decision on her part. She didn't sit me down and lecture me on the rules of lying. I lived in fear of her as a child and started lying to protect myself. I learned to lie over time by watching her. When I was young, my mother lied about simple things. At age five, I came home from school crying after Marilyn S. told me the jolly fat man in the red suit didn't exist. Yes, Sahag, there is a Santa Claus, my mother responded. She was perfectly put together like the cover of Ms. Magazine. Marilyn said you and Daddy buy all the presents and sign Santa's name on the card. I might have sounded whiny. Marilyn is a bad girl who only gets a lump of coal every Christmas. <laughs> she spreads lies because she's jealous, my mother answered. She pecked me on my fleshy cheeks. She reassured me Santa would bring lots of presents that year, and he did. Since Marilyn was the class bully, it made perfect sense to me. Next came the tooth fairy. I was six when I found the dollar under my pillow. Bobby F. told me you and Daddy put it there. That's because the tooth fairy didn't bring Bobby F. a dollar when he lost his tooth. He spreads lies to make himself feel better. Scout's honor, I would have asked if I were a Boy Scout. Scout's honor, my mother would have saluted. From then on, Bobby was labeled as another bad and undeserving kid in my class. <laughs> my own life started off small. No, mommy, I didn't spill the milk, I said, when in fact I had. When I was six, I broke her favorite vase by knocking it down with my school bag. I told her my younger brother had done it. He was constantly in trouble anyway. <laughs> I watched as she slammed his head against the wall, screaming at him to behave. She had warned him countless times about bouncing the ball in the house, and apparently it was the last straw. That was the first time I witnessed my mother become violent. As I grew older, my lies got bigger. When I received my first F in the third grade, I was scared and forged my mother's signature. It seemed to work, so each time I received a grade that needed a signature, I'd sign her name and hide the paper deep inside my backpack where my mother wouldn't find it. Once I returned to school, the teacher either collected the signed paper or I threw it away. My mother attended a mandatory parent-teacher conference. That night, I barricaded myself in my bedroom and waited for the hurricane to arrive. My mother would never hit me like she hit my brother because I had almost died as a baby but she would release the pent-up anger that had built inside her for years. She was a ticking time bomb. My mother walked into my room. In her hand were some of my forged signatures. She threw them on the bed, the silence before the storm. She gave me her death look, a lift of the eyebrows and a deep scowl as she filled her lungs with air, ready to explode. I felt my face flush with fear and guilt. Before I could manage to beg forgiveness, the skies opened up and the downpour commenced, my mother's voice getting higher with each accusation. You're failing three classes, she thundered. Your teacher showed me your report card. How could you do this to me? I am, I asked, trying to play dumb, but it didn't work on her. From an unknown depth, I let out an agonized wail whose origin was a lie. Calming down, she looked into my watering eyes. Did you think I wouldn't find out? I shook my head with the remorse of a captured criminal. No matter how much I tried to lie, the truth found its way to her. But I knew that after a few minutes of yelling, I could pretend to break down, she'd relax a little, and everything would be okay. Until the next lie. Soon, my mother began to lie about my future. One day, you're going to grow up, meet the perfect girl, and get married. She would lather, rinse, and repeat that throughout my young adulthood. It's what she had to believe. Then what happens, I asked. Happily ever after, of course. Are you happy, I asked my mother. Of course I am, she answered. But her eyes told me otherwise. Thank you.